So you're interested in renovation loans and you're looking at the 203K loan and the home style loan. These are two loans that you've heard of, but you wanna know what the difference is and which one's better for you. In this video, I'm gonna go into the pros and cons of each one. And now as someone who's personally done both, I can give you a really good insight on which one is better for what situation and really which one you should go about picking given the property type you're about to get. My name is Matt Percaro and I'm the founder of the 203K Way, which is a community dedicated to leveraging renovation loans like the 203K and the home style loan in order to create wealth and, and really find and build the house that you love. It's a great way that I got started and bought my first multifamily property. I was able to fix it up, build a ton of equity into it and get cash flow on it at the same time. These loan strategies are excellent strategies, not only to build wealth, but if you're a real estate investor, you're able to leverage this wealth that you create on these assets to go buy more properties. If you have any interest in doing any of that, or you know, you just want to renovate your kitchens and bathrooms, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I have a lot of content on this channel that's dedicated to helping you guide you through these processes. And this is really honestly stuff I wish I had when I got started. Now to know which of the two loan products you want to use, you really have to look at what your property type is, what type of property you're buying and probably what your goals are. So before I jump into it, let me know in the comments what type of property you're looking to buy. What got you interested in looking at the 203K or Homestyle loan? Do you have a property that you currently own and you want to refinance into a renovation loan? Are you looking to buy a multifamily property and do a renovation on it? Are you looking to buy a single family home and you're just looking to wrap the renovation cost into it? Let me know in the comments. So as you may or may not know if you're on this video, the 203K loan and the Homestyle loan are both loan products that allow you to purchase a house plus wrap the renovation costs of whatever potential renovations you wanna do into the mortgage. What that allows you to do is not have to pay out of pocket for a renovation. And it also lets you purchase properties that, you know, you maybe wouldn't have been able to finance with a conventional mortgage. The beautiful thing about these loans are if you're looking for a fixer upper or you're just looking to get something a little under value, it allows you to purchase these properties fix them up to your liking, and in many cases, build some equity in the process. That's originally what drew me to the 203K loan. I like the idea that I could fix up a really beat up house and be able to build equity. And I also loved that the 203K loan allowed you to buy up to a four unit. And that's gonna lead me into my first thing. So the number one question you have to ask yourself if you're between the 203K or the Homestyle loan is what kind of property are you purchasing? Generally speaking, if you wanna buy a two to four unit property, a duplex, a triplex, a quadplex, your best bet is to go for the 203K loan. Why is this important? Well, the FHA 203K loan is an FHA loan. FHA loan guidelines state that you're able to buy up to a four unit property, all with the minimum required three and a half percent down payment. Now, if you're looking to house hack or you're looking to just offset your rent payments by buying a small multifamily property, the ideal situation is you wanna use as much leverage as possible. So the great thing about only putting three and a half percent down is you don't have to come out of pocket with a lot of money and your tenants are gonna be paying the majority if not all of your mortgage. Now the difference here between the 203K and the home style is that the 203K is a three and a half percent down payment all the way up to the four units. It doesn't matter how many units you get, it's still only three and a half percent down is what is required from you out of pocket. This is huge guys. On my first property that I bought, I used a 203K loan. And what it allowed me to do is it allowed me to purchase a duplex property. I was able to live in one unit, rent out the other unit, and the tenants in the other unit were actually paying majority of my mortgage payment. It was allowing me to live for close to free and then eventually I moved out of that property, moved in with my now wife, and I rent out both units for cash flow. Now, if you're looking to just buy a single family, your, pro your best bet is probably the home style. The home style has a lot of other benefits, what I'll get into in a second. Well, the difference with the home style in regard to multifamily properties is they require more down payment from you as as you go up in units. The home style actually goes up tremendously in your down payment requirement uh, based on multi-units. If you wanna buy a duplex, they require 15% down. And a triplex or a quadplex, they actually require 25% down. Now you can see if you're looking to buy a multifamily property, why the 203K loan is a clear winner in this case. 
So what you wanna do is you wanna look at the two different scenarios and say, okay, if I'm buying a single family, then it's probably gonna be a home style loan. So if you're looking at the scenarios and you're looking at buying a multifamily and you're looking to house hack, you wanna use as much leverage as possible. So you wanna go with the FHA 203K. Now, the downsides of the 203K and where the home style really shines is on a couple of the little nuanced terms that the home style has that makes it a little more enticing. Now, again, this is really gonna be better for single family homes. I'm in the process right now of purchasing my forever home with my wife and we're using a home style loan. The home style loan is just generally more flexible for single family homes and it's more flexible of a loan in general. Compared to the FHA loan, the home style loan actually even doesn't require owner occupancy. You don't have to live in the property, but it requires higher down payments. Now a common complaint with the 203K loan is because it's FHA, it has a little more requirements with the appraisals and the way that the scope of work needs to look. But what I'm finding after doing both of these is that the paperwork is really about the same. Now at the end of the day, having a good experienced renovation loan lender, someone that has done many of these, there's a lot of lenders out there that specialize in this. If you're interested in finding an experienced 203K lender, go ahead and check the links down below. I have links to my Facebook group and also a lender finder tool that allows you to find these lenders in your market to make sure that you're working with the right ones. Now, I wanna tell you that, again, going through this process myself, I'm finding out that the home style is about the same, but it still is a little more flexible, plus the terms are a little better. One of the main things that makes a big difference between the 203K and the home style is that on the home style loan, there's no upfront mortgage insurance premium. Now, the downside to putting less than 20% down is you end up having to pay something called mortgage insurance. Mortgage insurance, the best way to describe it is basically it's your insurance payment that you're paying in return for having a low down payment out of pocket. They basically penalize you for not having a month enough to come up with upfront. And that's the way that they basically insure these loans because you are paying into a big bucket of money that everybody else that pays low down payments is paying into. And if one of those loans default, that money goes to the bank and that's what makes it insured by the FHA. FHA doesn't make the loans themselves. They basically just act as a big insurance company and that's why you're able to get these low down payment loans. It gives banks the incentive to do them. Now the home style loan doesn't require upfront mortgage insurance. The FHA requires a 1.75 upfront mortgage insurance payment. Now that usually gets tacked onto the loan, but when you think about you know, all the different closing costs and things that get wrapped in, an extra couple thousand dollars in many cases on these loans, while it's only 1.75%, it still will add up. Now, if you're looking to buy a multifamily, in my opinion, it's a drop in the bucket. But if you're looking to buy a single family, you wanna save as much money as possible, so that's the big one. Another great thing about the home style loan is that the mortgage insurance will come off once you hit 20% equity on the property. All you need to do is get another appraisal, and if your appraisal shows that you have 20% of equity in your property, they will remove the mortgage insurance. That means you don't have to refinance. With the 203K, if you put less than 20% down, that mortgage insurance stays on for the life of the loan. Another slight nuance is that the mortgage insurance on a home style loan is flexible based on your credit score. Now what that means is your additional mortgage insurance payment, which in most cases ranges from like $100 to $300 depending on your loan size, it's adjustable based on how good your credit is. On the FHA 203K, it's a 0.8% per year on your loan amount that gets spread out over 12 months. Again without getting too much into the nitty gritty details, it basically equates to a couple hundred bucks a month based on what your loan size is. Now, if you're looking to rent out that property or you're looking to house hack, that little bit can affect your cash flow and affect your payment. So you really want to get rid of that sooner than later. So in the 203K's case, you're going to have to refinance out into conventional once you finish your renovations. Now that's the way I teach my strategy and that's what I did. When I refinanced out, I actually got rid of my mortgage insurance payment immediately after I finished my renovation. After I finished my renovation, I built $130,000 of equity into the house. And what I was able to do was refinance into conventional. I got a little better interest rate and I also got rid of that pesky PMI it saved me an extra 300 bucks a month and added to my $2,000 a month cash flow that I was getting on my rental property. Now again, this was all after I had moved out, 
This was something that I did once I got started and into the next deal, but it's a great thing that you can do. And again, if you're buying a multifamily, it's what I suggest. But it's why the home style loan is really great for multifamilies. You're just paying a little less of those nitty picky fees. Now, in terms of the renovation part and the draw schedule and the paperwork and what you expect from the contractor, it's all pretty much the same. Again, as I'm going through the home style now and knowing the 203K in the past and helping many other people in the past, I'm finding out that again, from the renovation side of things is really very similar. The one little added bonus on a home style is that they're not nitpicky on what you could do to your property. So you can pretty much, you could add luxury items, which the FHA typically doesn't allow. They can allow you to put in a pool or a pool house or a basketball court or whatever you want to do. Now, I don't, I'm not doing any of those things, so it doesn't really matter. But at the end of the day, it's just good to know that they're not too nitpicky on the scope of work. If this is helping you out so far and making your decision, go ahead and throw a like. That engagement really helps me, helps my channel, helps me grow. Um, and a little tap of the button, it means a lot to me, believe it or not. So after going both through both of those things, I can honestly say that the 203K is very powerful on the multifamily side and the home style loan is really powerful on the single family side. I really think that these loans are super underutilized, not enough people are using them and that's why this community exists. The one thing I'm noticing from both of these loan products is they're both extremely, extremely powerful. On the first one, I built $130,000 of equity in just eight months. On the property I'm buying now with my wife, I'm already seeing equity gains before we even get started. Now, I don't want to confirm any equity, any equity gains yet because I don't really know the full scope, but we're looking at somewhere in the neighborhood of $100,000. Now, this is not an investment. This is not a fix and flip. This is just something that we know we're going to live in long term, but it's great to know that in this crazy competitive market in New York that we're still able to see equity when people are usually paying $100,000 over asking, we are getting our equity right out of the gate. So, I urge you, if you're looking into this, please take this seriously and dig into the content that I have on this channel. It's all built to help you and streamline this process. Trust me, this does not need to be a daunting thing. On my second time around of doing the home style loan, I'm finding very quickly that this is just, it gets easier as you go. Now, the exact processes that I'm teaching here and that I'm going over are all over my content and all over my channel. Go ahead and check out the links below and check some of the other videos on my channel to follow through the process and get through it step by step so you don't have any really bad mishaps with the projects. These loans get a lot of flack for being a little more complicated, but the situation is, is once you understand them, it's really not that bad. And when you see how powerful they are, you start to understand why there's the little extra paperwork. It's really powerful, but it really, really requires a little extra steps up front. Once you know those steps up front, it's really not that bad. And I think everybody here should take advantage of it. So go ahead and check out some of the other links on my channel. Leave me some comments down below if you have any questions about the process on the 203K loan or the home style. I answer all my comments personally and I wanna make sure that I give you the best path. Again, these are things that I wish I had when I got started. And I have to let you know that if you have the right steps in front of you, which I'll be happy to give you, these loans can really be an excellent way to build equity and really get you the house that you love. I really hope you enjoyed this one, and I know this was a quick one, but I just, going through this process, I'm finding that these are very similar loans, and they're both powerful in their own right, so whichever one you choose, good luck, and I hope to see you on the other side.